This video is best viewed on a stereoscopic 3D monitor or with YouTube's cardboard viewing option. For more 3D options, use the Flash Player by clicking the first link in the description. For the unwarped VR version of this video suited for viewing on a 2D screen or in a VR headset, click the second link in the description. Welcome to Stereo 3D Productions, folks. You are now looking at the Solus Project, and I'm about to use this game along with the HTC Vive in order to do uh, what is sort of the first VR marathon type Let's Play on this channel. But really, it's only the first because it's uh, the first time I actually mentioned that it's a marathon. Something that was incredibly similar to what I'm about to do uh, would have been my entire arc Survival Evolved Let's Play. Uh, it consisted of multiple hours of gameplay in virtual reality. Whoa, uh, this is cool. Uh, that was then edited down to uh, an hour or less. So sometimes the Let's Play parts would be uh, over four hours long and I would cut all that stuff down into something that's a little shorter to watch. Now, before I jump in, I wanna show you the settings that I personally like uh, in order to play first party VR for one and for two, there's a few issues that I'm gonna have to go over with the game. Actually, there's only one. Uh, it has to do with movement speed. So let's take a look at this. I basically kept all of these to default except the shadow quality. Brought it down, normally shadow will be pretty performance hungry and I want every little frame I can get. I'm using Fahrenheit and Miles for temperature and distances. However, I uh, don't like fluid ounces. I don't work with them. I much prefer milliliters. So th these are pretty cool settings actually. There's a lot of variety. Uh, I can tweak the game a lot right off the bat. And then the controls. I will be playing this as a classic seated first person experience, so I will not be using the Vive controllers. Uh, although I could maybe give them a try at some point, but right now I want to do the marathon thing and that really involves remaining seated and not having to... I don't want to have to teleport to move around, I want to walk. Uh, so I got the split movement rotation, which means I can go one way, look the other, kind of like I had with Ark. I have the separate head movement, which now I'm not actually sure if that relates to split movement rotation. So we're gonna see how that works. And then I actually have myself set to strafing, walking, and walk speed 100%. Scientists and I find a rogue class B star traveling towards us. The With nowhere to go, our last resource is scramble with five scout ships to send to five distant worlds. Pioneers began our first interstellar journey to boldly go where mankind may begin anew. Oh. Oh. Ah, I like now. You're getting the backstory and you can read it. With the DK2, I remember the everything was written on the little handheld thing there, the PDA. And you can read anything. Well, hello. You're there, I guess. Welcome. So this is, I guess, the ship that, uh... Yep, yep, that's the ship that we're gonna find in pieces on the surface. So this, I don't think it's gonna go very well for it. Holy shit, cool. It feels scaled down just a little so that you feel its depth, which I think is pretty cool, actually. To be honest with you, that that actually gives you a lot of sensation of depth, which is really fucking awesome. So I'm, I'm actually persuaded to completely turn, shift my body to the left right now to watch this. Whoa, what? What the fuck was it? I... Did something shoot at these guys? Oh, cool. Whoa! Whoa, 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 holy shit. Oh, I noticed this, I, I did a test earlier, the pitch is responding in this scene, 
Uh, but I think it doesn't after. It's just one issue in this scene, the mouse pitch response. But that's okay. Uh, they wanted to, I guess, replace their opening scene, uh, where in the uh, early access, this door would open and you'd just get the force camera motion, where you'd see outside. They wanted to change that. I think you guys did a pretty fucking good job. Whoa. Yeah, we're, 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 we're crashing. Parachutes, maybe? Are there any parachutes on this thing? Ooh, nice blackout. That was cool. Welcome to Glees. I forgot the name of the place. All right, so right now I can combine this rock with this and make myself a cutty thing, switch to it, and cut my way out. Now, I have movement speed at 1.0, at 100%, and look at this. This is where I really thought there was a problem. Two seconds ago, I was moving super fast. I picked up a grand total of two rocks, and now I am walking at a third of my speed, and it's only going to get worse from here. So this is where I really thought there was a, a massive issue at first. Break the skin open. And then eat. There you go. See that? If you find yourself in a precautious situation, explore your surroundings and scavenge whatever useful items you can you can before conditions worsen. As soon as possible, secure a source of heat, fresh water, and food. Find places to take shelter. How you deal with the first few hours is crucial to your survival. Stay dry, sleep well, and protect yourself during storms. Keeping well rested is vital to increasing your chances of survival. Rain or water can quickly lead to hyperthermia during the night. I need to report back to Prolo's command somehow. Better have a look around and see if anyone or anything made it. All right. Be careful not to get lost. Mark locations you have been to. Avoid getting trapped in the nightfall. Rising tides, storms, losing your light source, and so on. Once you have secured your environment, find a way to communicate with the outside world. Gather parts and build an impromptu transmitter. Never give up hope that you will be rescued, no matter how dire your situation. Alright! Wow! Holy shit, I almost forgot to do this! I... I'm coming right off the DK2 with this, I haven't tried it with the CV1. I gotta savor this in the new headset, for fuck's sake. I'm taking this shit for granted now. Oh... Oh, the capsule! See, it looks much larger now. That looks like a human-sized capsule now. When I was in space, it looked like a little tiny version of it. Obviously, that's when I said, like, I like that they did that because it gives more depth to everything, right? There we go. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I can actually do this right away. Grab this. And there we go. Now! It absolutely wants me to go through the water source thing. And what I'll want to do is I'll add myself a step. Which is this. There we go. Fill my water bottle. Which I think contains more than you can drink in one shot out of these things. So now... Yeah, it knows that I actually picked up the... Oh, wait a minute. I can combine again? Oh, maybe this one's stronger. No, it's the same thing. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna drop one. Let's see, I think I've checked this out before. I'm not sure. No, I missed something. There we go. That was, uh... I think I saw this on my DK2 run. There's a gate here. Oh, do I need the teleportation gun to make this little leap here? Into that sector? Or is this just like a tease? That's amazing how I got close to my own uh, reticle. I like the reticle! It's a 3D reticle, check it out! When you're looking at something very near, it actually enlarges, and then when you look out far, it becomes tiny. That's uh, properly done. Good job, guys. Well, let's see if it encumbers me. But you see there's a sort of jitter in the walking speed? He, he doesn't, like, want to keep it up at a constant pace. So I don't know if it's an over sensitivity in how they affect the movement speed it's a little too harsh what i recommended in the steam forums is that they actually go ahead oh yeah right now they want me to scavenge for food right right, right. 
is that they go ahead and not affect walking speed ever, but rather have the health, the stamina, and the uphill and the downhill affect the speed that you can run at. And then light my torch. Which I, I know this part pretty much by heart, and I retested it to make sure it was the same thing. So it starts off the Let's Play pretty easy. And there we go. I'm just gonna go light that torch. And voila! There was light! Although I do not need it at the moment. Let's enjoy some more of this beautiful view here. This is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And the, everything in the sky actually moves. So you can like tell the time of day. This is actually environment wise looks more legit than even Ark Survival Evolved. I'll, I'll tell you. It's probably a, a, a smaller. This is Prolus Command calling from deck 50 of capital ship Opez near Pluto. Checking in for a status update. We're fucked. We're fucked. We received jumbled emergency readings from the satellite. Yes, we're saying we're fucked. Designated landing time. Is everything okay? We're fucked. No. Solus 3, I don't want to panic you, but the other colony ships are getting antsy. No shit. Indeed, we'll have a 15 year journey ahead. The team here are rooting for you. Prolus out. We're fucked! Help! <laughs> this is not going well! Oh, wow. Okay, water not as legit as Ark's. And the water is always super legit in Ark and VR. I mention Ark often when I talk about VR. That being that it's the only experience that I did real full marathons of. I've gone long durations of time in other games in VR. I've never done a, a sustained Let's Play of them, so... Uh, well, here comes Project Solus, and I think this game's about 12, maybe 16 hours long if I stretch it. So it won't be a very long series on the channel. I'm just gonna look around here and see if there's any other food I might have missed, because I kind of fucked that one up right there. Oh, there's a little piece of food there, I think. Yes, I'm gonna change my... There we go. I'm changing my device now. Okay, now I have the torch away. You see that? See that? Suddenly I moved really fast and now I'm slow again. So I really don't know what exactly... I mean, is, is there glue on this floor? It's really, really freaking weird. I, I, I hopped out of those herbs really quickly and then... Uh, 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 again. So, uh, I don't know if it's a game issue that it's working as intended, but if this is how it's intended, please uh, reduce the effect a little bit because it's quite jarring. So what is this thing? Wrath of Utuku upgrades all resistances. Why not? I think I need to be able to resist to stuff. Climate resistant hunger, dehydration plus one percent. All right. That's interesting. Forward vector completed. New forward vector. Find a way into the cave and investigate the sand. And I think I'm not sure if the capsule crashed or the, uh, another crash happened here but I know that there's there's someone in trouble out there and I'm gonna go to the capsule well it's not a I think it's a supply capsule actually if your vessel is crashed gather as many useful items you can from the debris before moving out to safer grounds objective reminder locate materials for satellite uplink Even the simplest items can be life-saving equipment when used correctly. Suggestion on the notes to the developers, uh, make the area larger on the ground where you can stare at. Or, uh, I think their intention is to eventually allow us to read them from the start menu, or... I, I know they had something going with that that they wanted to do. I did mention earlier I wanted time to drink it all in, let's do it. Because uh, I got a clear path ahead now, and I have my decoupled rotation, which I really like. Especially in the case of having movement speed this slow, I can at, at least enjoy the scenery a lot. So see, this is what I'm not seeing right now. Nine hours, 98.6. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I appear to have a dehydration issue going on here. There we go. And they move fast. Oh, shit. Because they're really close to the planet, right? Well, that one's fucking huge. It's moving slower, I guess. Orbits are different. This is really cool. Okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff to pick up here. I hope it won't encumber me. I have a first aid kit. Anything else? It 
doesn't look like it. Holy shit. I know, I know. Operator, wet. I have actually gone completely off course here in order to explore. I want to make a note. Uh, I actually have the um, time code in this video. Reason being is it's going to be a very long duration play. And I want you to be able to tell where my cuts are and how long I've been playing for. So to give you an idea of the time frame I am situated in. Frederick is still worried about the landing probes. Though it is some of the some though it is of some concern, he's being paranoid about it. Moon chimed in the aliens, but that a wizard did it. The expression on Frederick's face was priceless when she said that. A backpack! No way! Cool! Uh, yes, why not? Uh, no, these these are gonna be a plenty on the island. Holy shit, I got a backpack. Cool. Things are looking... Fuck. Things are looking up for Glee's... Uh, hang on, I'll get real closer. Things are looking up for Glee's 6143C. We might have a colony on our hands. Although only once we confirm carbon-based life is down there. If there are any plants, there may be animals larger than microbes. Frederick seems hung up about something else, though. That's really weird. What shot at the ship? When, uh... During the initial descent, what shot at the ship? I don't know. That was really fucked up. This is a really fucked up scene right there. Would not even wait to check in the hotel. That is funny. That is funny, that's because I went too quickly through the game. Oh, can I use the teleportation here? I bet you I can. Just to get through this, let's use the teleportation gun. I'm gonna show you how that works, it's pretty cool. You shoot, you teleport. You shoot, you teleport. You shoot, you teleport, you shoot, you teleport. There we go. So, I hope I didn't fuck myself over too hard. I'm gonna pull out the torch as quickly as possible. Get my ass warmed up. Holy shit. Can I even... <laughs> Holy crap, can I even get back there? And where's my forward vector? Oh, it's all the way fucking back there? Yeah, I think I'm gonna head my way back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in trouble. It's fucking snowing now. Oh. Just tell me I'm not gonna die though. That's so weird. Where's my okay, my forward vector is all the way around back. Warning. Operator cold and wet. Yeah, but I'm doing good. Dropping. Everything's coming back. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Just, just, just be sun up. That's all I need right now. Fuck. Be sun up. Uh, my temperature, my ambient temperature doesn't look too terrible. My body temperature is rising. I am cold. The movement speed is definitely not helping. What the fuck is going on? Is this the end of the world or something? Whoa! Oh, that's bullshit. I died. Whoa. Hello there. We're gonna be doing a bit of a more conformist run here and stick to the games thing. So that that could be a complaint for Solus. You wanna- what the hell happened there? What made me suddenly change going 300 million miles an hour? The red stuff on the ground? Look at this! Why? I don't get it. Hey. Uh, I should have enough of everything here. Alright, let's move it. Let's move it back here. 
the nights will be much colder and um, I'm going to get back on the main course here. Not have to start over again. Hopefully not screwed over by movement speed. All I know is that now by the placement of things in the sky, I have a good amount of time. You see, when I got in trouble, I think I, I had 6.6 .6 hours of wake left. Now, what I don't know how this thing works, the sleep thing, is, is how do you sleep? I haven't seen it yet. Do you build a bed? Does your guy just drop dead right there and, and, and stop responding? What the fuck is this? From far, it looked like a, a freaking body there or some shit. A save station that makes things a lot simpler. Wow! Oh, Christ! Good, good job there on the flare variation and the presence of the sun in the sky even when it's not generating a flare in the camera. Fuck, that looks like a real, 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 real sunset. That is amazing. That's fucking beautiful. Holy shit. Yeah, we're, we're about to go in the cave now. We're not gonna waste any time. Oh, this is gonna get cool now. You ready, people? Here we go. So what I have to do is I have to basically shoot this disc through the door. And teleport there. And there we go. I picked up a glow stick here. The glow stick, I noticed, you drop it on the ground. And, uh... You drop it on the ground and it will light your area while you're switching items if you want to see what you're doing. Carry enough supplies and a source of heat and light to explore deep caves. I appear to be good. I believe I picked up a lot of canned food on the way because I knew I had a backpack. So that's nice to have. Hey. There we go. Alright, so I've navigated into a secret area, I believe. And it's a low, low movement speed secret area. So see, this one is kind of like the other one where it looks super deep and dangerous, but you can actually enter it. And over here you will find that you can get max health plus 25. That's right. I'm sure they put that sector just to tease you. Like, can you walk down it? Or are you going to remember to use your teleportation gun? Which one are you going to do now? Huh? Nice and clear. Whoa, I saw this earlier. The, the, the pink shaded eggs. There's like a good atmosphere in this game. I really like the design so far and how they, they did their thing. It's really, really cool. And you'll see this is a pretty smart section coming up because they want to teach you how to go through water and not freeze to death. So they'll force you to go through water and then they'll uh, basically show you how to make a fire. I found that it's, it's basic. I mean, it's super basic. It was pretty smart. Whoa. Well, I'm, I'm going way off the forward vector here. I think this is an advanced cave though. Is it? Any rewards? Back where I was before. So when they said the secret caves are for advanced explorers only, I think they meant the water down there. And it's probably because at that point you have um, perks that protect you against prolonged water exposure and shit like that. So I did find perks along my way, uh, like boots to walk a bit faster, stuff like that. We will try to go over those. Cave of the Illuminated 2. Now I have another glow stick, but it's kind of like a rock glow stick. I'll show it to you. So you got this glow stick here, and then I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of other items that I got. There we go. It's not as effective, but it does appear to be um, unlimited. So that's interesting. And here's our first save station of the day. Uh, I'm actually gonna take the time. I'm not taking this headset since the beginning of the play. I have been going for 107. So, time to keep going. So, how do you get through water in this game? Pretty simple. Go to the teleportation gun. 
I'll take a few seconds. <laughs> I love how the way the hand comes up. It's as funny as the hand models in Ark. I'm trying to stay concentrated here because my guy's underwater. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sort of lost track of my fucking forward vector there. Where the fuck is my forward vector? Holy shit. Yes, got it. Holy fuck, that was brutal. Not on the motion, just I, I kept shooting the gun and I thought I was going in a straight line, but what happened is I think I started bouncing the thing off the wall over and over and then I was panicking because the, the guy's gonna fucking die on me. I know, I know, I know, I know. But that's almost scripted in the game for that to happen because start and grow a campfire to warm up yourself. So check this out. This is how you do this, okay? You switch this and you go like... Inventory full. Um, oh, inventory full. But watch this, watch this, watch this. I know what to do. I'm going to go to the piece I already have and merge it. And voila. And voila. And the more I put, the larger the fire gets. More, more, more. Hey, larger fire. Or can't I... Oh, I can't grow it anymore now at this point. Can I? Yeah. Requires fuel. Okay, cool. So I guess I'm gonna have to add some later, only if uh, the, uh, the the fire starts wearing out. So I don't light the candles. I do believe these are these are edible. So what do I do actually? Now that we're at a campfire, I need the cutting rock. Right. Alright, cool. So I pick up one of these. Go ahead and need them. So I don't know what these are. They're alien food UFOs. Jump across that. So my forward vector, I don't know if the water way there would lead me to my okay. Just trying to stay out of it as much as possible. Okay, cool. That's pretty clean. Oh, there we go. There we go. I want these. Magic boots. Movement speed plus one percent. Which uh was it Metroid the boots? Or was it wasn't Zelda, was it? It was Metro. In we go. They don't look friendly at all, but I mean we've got nowhere else to go anyways. So let's press forward. Oh, and here comes another safe station. There rather close together just in case I will save as well as sleeping save your shrines can be used to save your progress so how do I sleep I don't know how to sleep I don't know I I'm what I'm hoping at this point is that when I show up at that station with a uh, like zero on this counter that it will automatically refill it. I don't know how it works, but it's there's absolutely no clear instruction whatsoever. Oh, that's where I picked up the boots. Cool. Um, there's absolutely no clear instruction on. Whoa, what's that? On how to. Oh, that's where I came from. Your survival is of paramount importance to the continued existence of mankind. Hello, what is this? Go here. See what's here. There appears to be a set of candles, anyways, for me to light. So let's go ahead and light them. Oh, I'm feeling too hot. Oh. oh, maybe that's why they gave me the glow stick. But holy fuck! 
Because now my body is overheating, apparently. Fucking overheating. Not too sure why. I want to just, just explore here and see the, the directions. So I got candles, which is pretty useful. So now I realize that the torch can actually make you overheat, which is pretty odd. But at the same time, we gotta go back to it now, because it's kind of hard to see. Oh, oh, oh! What's this? Yes, please! Relic of Night. So, that's what I think those things, those lists that you see are. They're the stuff that's been scattered around in the cave before you got there and you are to find them. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. I see something coming up on the HUD there. And it does appear to be, okay, it's blinking in one area, but it's going through the floor, kind of like the Vector 36 issue I had with the HUD there. So that's a mechanism, I think? Oh, that's a little doll idol. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this part. This is where I got to. This is where I, got to. I opened that door. I think there's going to be another save station. I saved there, and I stopped um, playing because I was like, fuck it. Uh... I'm gonna start a let's play of this game. It's looking very good to do it, even though there's that movement speed issue. You can work around that. It's very confident I could actually get some. And that's probably why there's ambient light in here, so you can actually do this without having to fiddle with the glow stick. There we go. Boom! Yes. Also have the canned food, the boxed food, and all that shit. I try to eat the immediate food immediately and save. Oh, these guys here. These guys are bullshit. Watch. I don't think you want to hit them. I'll sort of fling themselves all over the place. I have to basically just move by and just hope I can clear by without touching them, I guess. Because they don't look very nice to touch. Get out of the way. They're kind of like the, the plants outside. So don't roll towards me, that's all I want. Cool. There we go. That is creepy. <laughs> this is getting fucking goosebumps. No shit. Please tell me there's a campfire or something. Whoa. Hello? What's going on here? That's another relic of some sort. Shit, I should have checked what that was. I can probably drop the objects one by one and just check what they are. But right now I want to press on because I don't want to miss... The sleep thing. Get water and continue your investigation. And how do I do that? Like this? Oh. There's no like animation letting you know that you were actually latched onto it. That's all good. Whoa! I'm kicking my legs, man. Whoa! Goosebumps. I'm seeing what I want to see right now. I'm seeing what I want to see right now. Now, how do I sleep? Please help me. Try it all the keys randomly this is very very bittering um uh, solace that's very Sleep not advised. wait what huh where set alarm clock
Where? What? How do I hit start sleeping then? Ah, there we go. So I did three hours of sleep. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm at quality good. Severe sleep shortage. Okay. Project Solus. Uh, I, I, here, here's something I really hate in a video game. I don't have a gamepad connected to this computer. I go to controls to know what your controls are. And this is what you're showing me? That pisses me off, that kind of thing. I, I need to know what the sleep button is. I'm not clear on it. I just bash the keyboard until the sleep option came up. So, is it N? It's B. You made sleep B. Uh, I have no reference to that. So, I'll go ahead and I, if I'm not mistaken, I have to press down or tab or I'm not too sure even how to click this thing now. Click? No. Yes, there we go. There we go. It saves the progress when you're at the shrine and makes you sleep. So now I'm gonna wake up probably with enough sleep in my body to continue a good deal. Sleep quality, good. Nice. Three more hours and I should be good. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, oh, good to find out I uh, learned the sleep mechanic. Or Vector seems to be saying it's there. Yep, that's where we're going. All right, cool. This is a pretty good experience so far. I, I'm, I'm gonna reiterate that the only problem I've had is the movement speed. The real problem? I mean, the controls issue is annoying to have to figure everything out yourself, but because uh, they, they only put a gamepad up there, but, but still, I mean, this is very, very, very fun so far. Very enjoyable. I don't want to say fun like a, an experience where you're like tossing yourself all over the place, but food and heat are rare underground. Recovered at places like these. So this is stone that lights up the place. Oh. Cool, so this is like a fountain of plentiness. Oh, look at that already. Cool. I was, I was just thinking, right? I found a spot where there's food and everything. Maybe I want to go back there and save. I do not have to. Actually, do not have to. Oh, cool. There's another milestone. Passage of the Travelers. Milestone 2F4. I did see that sort of secretish thing back there that you want to open. that they put that drip of water right next to that thing over there which like you can drink like a horse out of that fucking thing oh sages speak of a world before this one a world that was our home where we worked the fields under the sun whoa is this another group of people that crashed here after their planet went extinct the sky once took us on a journey across the black ocean of stars. We ventured down the cortex of days to reach our new home, Gallia. Really? They hear our call. The sky once approached from above, from the divine planet above. Their holy emissary called himself a Darsum. Whoa, I'm getting goosebumps, guys. One day... The heaven's warmth and life became poisoned. Its celestial wrath made our waters dry, our lands barren. We were forsaken until the coming of the sky ones. Whoa. Are there more of these? Yes. That's the game's logo right there. Adarsum. 
four. Uh, Adam Sum or whatever his name is, uh, he's a he's a prick. He builds a fucking lobby, puts a whole bunch of crates with nothing in them. <laughs> fucking asshole. Hmm. Adam Sum, there we go. Can I? Oh, I can't see my torch there. There. Can I click? I'm whacking you. I'm trying to whack it, but it keeps bringing up the PDA instead. What is this? Is it gonna leave it? Yay! It's gonna leave it. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Yeah, there goes the movement speed issues again. Probably a good timing because I'm gonna enter a new room and I will want to drink it in a little bit. Here's another monster. Passage of the Trap. Passage of the Travelers 3. Tool can cut, can act as a lever. Oh. I guess this guy sort of saw one of the uses of that tool, I guess. Sky ones, three of six. They built a city of stone and showed us how. Their knowledge made our knowledge. We learn how to make the burning ice and the flowing stone. Whoa, that's fucking weird. The sky once went underground, for that was their home. Our most hollowed followed them and became enlightened, who spread the wisdom of the Sky Ones. Oh! Oh, look at this! That's cool! Whee! Woohoo! Whee! Uh, that's cool! I didn't realize that that was ice! Anything else? Oh, I'm feeling much better too. I think the temperature really, really affects movement speed. It's probably where the issue is happening. That it's very, very erratic. Find the source of the sound. Mechanism. Requires tool. Okay, I think I know what it's going to require though. This? as untouched as we thought. I need to report back. I need to record this. Wilson, record. This is Octavius Scan, environmental analyst with the Solus Three detachment on Glies 6143C. I landed on an archipelago. Lots of rock and tough flora. As far as the eye can see is shimmering ocean. The atmosphere seems habitable, but it might be volatile. I'll keep gathering data. I followed a strange sound after the crash, which led me into a series of caves. And there's more than just geology and dripping water down here. There are signs of civilization, carvings, mechanisms, buildings. We're not the first beings here. And? I found a skeleton, a humanoid skeleton, with a strange elongated skull. I don't know what to make of it. Its skeletal structure is so similar to ours. I need to keep going. I'll see if I can find a way to link with the satellite and submit my data. Scan out. The head is different. The head is different, but he's right. What? It's like that this is the planet that everybody happens to go to when their homeworld is fucked beyond belief and shit out of luck. See, I got a haircut today, by the way. 
You probably didn't notice because it was so not that long before. It didn't look like a mop at all. So you probably didn't notice. But yeah, I got a haircut and uh, I still am having issues with this goddamn bead headphone cable. It sort of catches in my neck and yanks the headphones out. So Vive has this weird bead headphone with like the really short cord and it's not serving them that well. I do like the headphones. The I mean the the sound that they produce is, is, is quite excellent. Oh! Shit, 404! Passage of the Travelers. 404. So maybe that maybe that was a good call. So next safe station I will be doing evaluation. Am I reaching like a, an actual milestone in the game? If I do, it's probably worth uh, stopping. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It actually moves pretty fast with the hop. For those of you who get caught with the uh, walking speed in this game, try that. Try hopping around. It's gonna have to do over. Probably means I'm. Oh! Only about a quarter of the way through? Maybe less even? Oh shit, what the fuck is all that shit? Please don't kill me. Oh, I see the spikes. Okay, I see one there. There. They're pretty big too. Cover me through. So now, now would be a time for the movement speed to really, really keep in check because I need it. Mission objective: reestablishing satellite uplink. Highest priority. This game runs so well for the visuals it's delivering. At may I remind you, 120% scale resolution. That is fucking good! Sorry about that, folks. Shortage of sleep. As soon as I can find one of your wonderful little green pods, there we go. I shall use the B key, by the way, if anyone wants to know. This is the B key. Bring up your sleep. I want to take him uh, for a good eight hours sleep. Oh, hello! We're back outside! Holy shit! Now, I want to know, because I don't... Okay, so they're going to continue giving me foreign vectors so I can make sure I don't, like, get killed very quickly. I'll go to the forward vector, and then we'll see what we can do around here. Well, maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe this is where you get enough equipment to actually be able to survive for longer. Oh, this is the second escape pod crash site. All those years we spent traveling, getting to know each other, researching, all that hope vanished as the ship went up in flames. I don't know what happened, I'll know it is. Everything's lost. Maria, it was from nothing. I should have called you. Oh my god. I've never felt so alone in my life. I kept wandering around in this strange island, asking myself if I should try to find everyone. They deserve some sort of memorial. Half of them are probably in the sea. I've scavenged most of the parts of the ship from the island, but I haven't found any bodies. I know that they're all dead. Yet, there isn't a single corpse. Where are they? I thought the module I'm on and Fred were in came down intact too. I've collected all the basic components to start on the communication tower. My main goal is to let the people know of the Prolus colony know what happened. I've had a fire going on these last days to signal anyone still alive. Maybe they're on other islands. Of course, it wasn't going to be that easy. I tried sending a basic emergency message, but the signal was too weak. I jumped the gun. Need to find better, proper parts so that I can boost the signal to find a way to make more sophisticated messages. Oh, there's. Go Whoa! No! You're not dead. You're dead. Inventory full. 
Equip the circuit board. Okay, but do I have anything else? Lights things? Need more press up here to turn a minute, then I can tell them what happened. All the people who thought of us. 15 their years. Eight of mine. But I can't work alone for much longer. Becoming far too weak. I can't bend over in my stomach. The pain. Oh. The line between reality and my imagination is becoming blurrier. I thought I'd written more detailed entries about how I'm building a communication tower. Was that in my head? Did I lose the pages? Didn't someone once say imagination is a survival mechanism? Only fitting that a narcissist would die alone. Last thoughts are with you. Sorry I left. What a waste. 15 years. The trauma of leaving. I regret it all. I regret not being able to spend my final moments with you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Whoa. Harder and harder to stay awake. Wounds truly beginning to take their toll. Stomach infection especially. Only hope now is to keep writing. That someone will find this journal. Trying to prolong my life in ink. Thank God for impervious paper. One can't stop looking at one's wounds. Human condition, fascination with the morbid. But the smell is something no one could possibly ignore. I never knew an injury could produce such a stench. If only I had the meds. Craft the person in the drop pod is alive. I was alive. Holy shit, he left so much shit over here. Inventory full. I swear I saw a light at a distant island. I rubbed my eyes red trying to see clearly. I swear something was there. I tried to single back, making reflections with a metal shard, but nothing happened. Maybe it was my imagination. Probably wasn't. It has to be real. Keep seeing it. Light on the other island. But even if they, or it, saw my signal, they might not have understood that any method of signaling back. Funny, his diary has truly become my confidante. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Yes, thank you. Climate resistance, hunger, dehydration, plus one. Can I walk through it? Whoa, it actually goes through. Whoa! Okay, the weather is shit. And my forward vector is outside. So... Dane, please don't kill me. Varsus attempt. The elders speak of when the metal snakes were laying. The silver tubes which pulse with energy and spread warmth like veins. They twist away to our homes. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Signal from the surface. Is that you? Yes! One potential heartbeat, but it's faint. If you can, please send a sit rep as soon as possible. We can't afford to lose another ship after Solus 4 last month. Human race needs you. We can't last long like this. Yeah, well, I'm not fucking around here. These uh, conditions are way too rough for me to be allowed to stay out here this easily. Movement speed's gonna be normal? I'm not sure gonna lose it a little bit. The Sky Ones have given us so much, yet we know but a grain of their knowledge. They stare like cows at their spinning horses and great round birds. Great round birds! I like that. supposed to find Yuri's route up the island, but for fuck's sake, didn't he come through here and notice all the old installations and everything? Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh 
shit. Alright, alright, I got you. I think I know what we're gonna have to do. What the where is that stuff? Is that a relic? No. Is this is what the fuck is this? Shit, look at it's stormy too, eh? The sea's much more agitated than it was at the beginning of the game. Excuse me. Look at that. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? Oh. Fuck. There's an Aurora Borealis. Holy shit. This is fucking gorgeous. And there's like a... Oh, that's my torch. It's like I was going to say there's like a volumetric substance around me. Oh, look at that fucking moon. Oh, I got a lot of fucking pieces to go pick up here. Okay. Find the comm tower and install the circuit board. Have to pull some of these. the annoying part of this fucking cycle thing. <laughs> Where the, ah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh shit. 50 fucking eight. Is this, oh god, come on. <laughs> Fall damage is annoying. Can't fucking find a, a pod to go. Oh, come on! Save that. Oh, yeah, this is the part that's gonna take three hours. So I'm gonna crab it. There we go. Is there a mechanism to save? Here, no. And there we go! So, uh, I'm deeming now the next task is going to be tedious. Uh, the reason why I'm stopping short is I'm starting to uh, uh, feel uh, hunger. Like, actual, every time I see, like, calories, food, and drink, I kind of, like, want to have a tall glass of juice and a cheeseburger right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to cut it short uh, and, and eat. How long have I been going for? Holy shit, 2.20. Not bad for a first marathon. I haven't done a VR marathon in a long time, like I said at the beginning. Last time, it was ARC, and it was really long. It was like a five-hour run. Thanks for watching Stereo 3D Productions, people. Subscribe if you want to follow the series. I rarely ever say that in my videos, but I should probably remember to tell people. But, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. That's the most important part. I really do hope. Oh, shit that you enjoyed.